Hey folks, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today we're going up to Grand Rapids, Michigan. We're going to visit Founders Brewing and try their Four Giants Imperial IPA. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you an unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. Be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell as well as check us out on social media. Come say hey in Discord and chat with us on our Discord server. We would love to see you there. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay, I, and Ben. What are we drinking today, people? So we're going back to Founders Brewing Company. We're going to have... They're four giants. It's an imperial IPA. So this one's going to kick Ben in the mouth. We Let's shall see. I'm thirsty. See. Them four times over, huh? Yeah. Ooh. All right. Started a little overflow there. I have seen this one in the store several times. I have never bought it mm. or had it. I have had it. Jay has had it. I haven't. So Jay goes last. <laughs> yeah. So I, I picked this up at one of our local establishments here. This is 9.2% ADI IBUs. Like you said, Jay, an Imperial IPA. Uses American hop varieties, yet they did not describe or indicate which hops. Founders is known for not publishing those, aren't they? When we've mm -hmm. done ones in the past. Correct. Information in general. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Mm. <laughs> Better. Really? Is to me. Ooh. Wow, it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crack it, pour it, love it. According to the can, so makes up for that um, <laughs> that barrel aged Martin that Oktoberfest that they did. The ultimate Oktoberfest that we yeah. recently, uh, not too long ago, had skewered. Said crack it, pour it, love it. Yeah. All right. Love is a strong word. I still stand by that today. Um so we've done quite a bit of founders. Order. We've done their regular Oktoberfest, Ultimate Oktoberfest. Hop Slam. Hop Slam. No, that's spells. No, that's spells. Um Sorry. it's another Michigan beer, but not to be confused. I swear there was there was there was another founders and I, I can't <clears throat> the we haven't done any of their Kentucky breakfast stout series yet um, uh -uh. they have they have those they have a backwoods bastard ale they have several of those that are barrel aged uh, their, their KBS series is what they call a lot of those well There's in the past mm -hmm. that was that was early early yeah but there yeah. was a one before the Oktoberfest that I know we did and uh that I can't recall, but I have, they're out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. They were found in 1997. And beyond that, there was not a lot of information, at least on their website. So I decided to look other sources finally, and I got some new, new info on it. All so right. we had mentioned in times past, it was a couple of um, home brewers and that were recent grads and they found it. And in 19, you know, they founded the company in 1997. Well, I didn't know that in 1996, it was originally called the John Panel Brewing Company. And then they changed it to Canal Street Brewing Company. Canal Street uh, was a reference to, it was a historical name for a street in Grand Rapids. Today, it's now known as Monroe Street, so it's no longer Canal Street. <clears throat> so the brewery was in an area where several 19th century breweries stood. So in the 1800s, there were more breweries at the time. 
And so their label that they had made as when it was the Canal Street Brewing Company, their label uh, featured the historical image of the brewers from that time. And they put the word founders above it. So, but customers mistook that for the name of the brewery, the company. So they would, they would call it, oh, you know, give me a founders. And so the owners began changing the name. So they changed it to founders, you know, because that's what people knew it as. Kind of like oh. uh, Pabst uh, Blue Ribbon, we learned, you know, they, they, people kept asking for that Blue Ribbon beer versus, you know, whatever premium name he called it. Yep. So I found that interesting. And yeah. I remember reading to uh, in one area, especially when you were Jay, when you were mentioning the names of the beer, uh, the KBS or don't know the uh, the Bastard Ale and Backwoods uh, Bastard, back, and then Backwoods Bastard. Certain <clears throat> states would not allow them to label the beer with the word bastard on it uh, in the past, <laughs> so they had to <laughs> change the label. <laughs> some precious eyes could see it yeah so after all our um, founders that we've done i was just glad to finally get some more information what about the uh four giants what are they referencing here do we think i Is it... looked so much for that i looked for four giants and titans there's no reference to four and, I wonder uh, if know, it's related to the different hops. Maybe it's four different hops was kind of my philosophy, yeah. although they have the picture of four different. Yeah. And I, I looked at their, you know, their images and I was like, oh, that is strange, but I, there was no, no reference anywhere. And, you know, when I put in four giants, the biggest hit that I saw was uh, a, refer a reference to the legend of Zelda in this one particular game and then when i tried to change the name you know like biblical giants well there was never just four there was more than four mm -hmm. um and then titans well there's 12 titans and six are men six women so i ah, don't know hmm. yeah okay yeah if, if anybody has any insight uh we'd yeah. love to love to hear it for sure um I think one thing that is interesting that we all, you know, need to keep in mind is uh, drink responsibly. They don't serve founders in the clink, uh, <laughs> at least according to the can here. So I shall uh, not drive downstairs after my attic review. Yes, uh, that would be ill-advised uh, for sure, <laughs> for multiple reasons. <laughs> yeah. But one of the cool things about this, you know, you got that little guy in front of the giants offering up that hop and they are mesmerized so hmm. interesting yeah. it's very mythical it's got to be a story behind it so God, like come on founders give us the deets it's definitely cool cool can art for sure um this is even though i'd never never got this one <laughs> obviously it, it's unique enough that it stands out that i know that i've seen it before uh at my local shop and piques your interest when you see a can like that Right. And, uh, you know, I had originally thought that it was a, like a, like a multi-pack, right. It was four different beers. <laughs> yeah, That's what, that was my original thought when I saw it. And, uh, you know, but, um, uh, anyway, all right. So Jay has had this one, mm -hmm. uh, Andy, you and I have not. So mm -hmm. according to our opt up beer review tradition here, uh, Jay will go last since it is one that he has tried before. Um, so Andy, why don't you go first? <laughs> you need time to figure out the score. He's going to base it off your score. Yeah. We recently, <laughs> um, did another, uh, what was the one, the hundred IBUs? Gorilla knot. Gorilla knot or 200. I don't know. When something is advertised, excuse me, with a lot of IBUs, you think I am about to have a um, bitter bomb and, and, but this does not taste so bitter. And I think they do a good job. It, it You get a, that sweet on, on the front end and it's, I don't know if it's malt. I don't know if they put anything else in it. Maybe they dry hop it to, to get the, uh, you know, more aromatic, 
it's really good. And um, it is, it doesn't feel 9.2%, but it does feel a little heavy on the, on the palate. Um, but not 9.2% heavy. Definitely tastes more than a five or 6%. Great flavor. And I would give it an 8, 8.0. I, I really like it. I would have this again and again, and, and I got another one, and I'm glad I'm going to be able to enjoy it. <laughs> well, I'm going to disagree with you. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> I uh, This one, uh, the bitter comes through for me a lot. Uh, I don't get a lot of the... I don't get a lot of sweet. I don't get a lot of of the things you mentioned. I mean, it has that floral, uh, floral uh, aromas to it, but it's it's. I mean, the bitter lingers for me far longer than I prefer uh, in this one. And um, you know, I think this is, from my mind, that's that's the reason why it's not not going to be as high of a score for me because again, I'm the one here that does not prefer the bitter in things. Um, so, you know, I think what was it? 80 IBU, mm-hmm. um, which is interesting because, you know, you mentioned the grill and not that we had recently and that one had a bitter taste, but I could pull some of those other pieces out of it personally. And, and I gave it, I think a better score than you did. Um, mm-hmm. even though it had the bitter, this one to me is, it's, it's all bitter. Um, so I, I don't know why, but it just is. I mean, that's just, I guess, a different difference in our palates. Um, so, but I'll agree with you. It does not come anywhere close to feel like 9.2 or, or, or it doesn't give off that characteristic. I mean, if you made me guess, I would say seven, seven and a half, uh, you know, if I was trying to do some sort of blind ABV taste test, which is probably good that I don't. <laughs> uh, so with that, uh, I mean, this one, if you like... In my opinion, if you like bitter, I think it's it's one you'll like. Um, if you don't, then it's probably one you'll want to maybe try just so you can, you know, check it in on untapped, kind of mark it off your list and, and move on, uh, which is uh, more or less what I plan to do here. Um, <laughs> and so with that, uh, I'm going to give it a six and a half. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting good rating for you. All, all things considered from that um I was prepared yeah i mean for worse yeah, I, I, mean, I, I don't too, I, mean. I don't dislike it it's the bitter is just strong for me yeah, and, yeah you don't you know, like I bitter can, beers i mean i can appreciate you know what it is and you know what they're doing here and, and the fact that they trick you into uh, a 9.2 when it doesn't seem that way um uh, but i mean you know it's not Look, I, I'm not going to compare it. <laughs> Founders are like, got another one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, again, if you hand this to me, I'm going to drink it. Right. Uh, I'm not going to shy away from it. Um, like a beer but I'm not going you know? to seek it out. Uh, again, you hand me a pickle beer, as we have uh, <laughs> seen previously. I'm not drinking that thing. Put it in my, uh, my face. I'm going to put it in yeah. my mouth. I just want to yeah. say that. So, anyway, I'm shy. All right. Oh. <laughs> I will uh, respectfully disagree with you, uh, Benjamin. <laughs> Andy. Oh. <laughs> uh, and, and and Andy, for that matter. Um, I, I agree with your point that it's bitter. I, I, I like bitter. Um, I, I don't get, I get a little bit of the sweet, but not like sweet like Andy's talking about. And I'll agree, Andy, that it is heavy. That's, that's something I was going to say. I do think you can personally tell more that it's up there around nine is, is the way that I think of it. I mean, I've had several sips of it. I had a, I've actually had a four pack of this in the past. So <laughs> I thought you were uh, about to say I've had four right before. <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> so I, tell. So I um, <laughs> you know, I've had, I've had several of these in the past and it's a, it's a good beer, but it's not one you can sit here and drink two or three of uh one with the bitterness with the abv um but it's either in my opinion you start the night with it or you finish the night with it so <laughs> yeah. um i i like it but it's it's like i said you're you're a one one timer on these in my opinion if you're drinking multiples you you got more man in you than me um i'll give it an eight 
is uh it's a it's a solid offering from founders and and i will drink it again i'm sure that is going to give us a seven and a half for the four giants from founders uh definitely if you like high abv ipas that are bitter this one is one hopefully you <laughs> have already had and you're wrong you know. and i don't know why you watch the show because, you. yeah you got problems uh <laughs> andy you got something else you want to say yeah so y'all we're in the intermission and we had we're discussing our past founders reviews and i was wrong we have only done three other founders porter oktoberfest and ultimate oktoberfest and we discussed, I was like, okay, some good beers. How come we haven't done more? And I was thinking, okay, they're, they're breakfast stout. Um, and we discussed, there was, um, I said, the one with the kid, with a picture of the kid eating the oatmeal or something like that. And Ben mentioned, oh, I have a couple labels. And that made me remember when I was reviewing or researching that I'd mentioned earlier in our broadcast that certain states did not allow them to have the word bastard in their label. Well, other states did not allow them to pick to depict a picture of a child in the beer label because, <laughs> Oh goodness, the kids are going to be in, in, you know, the store and think this is, Mommy, this I'm is for that. me. Yeah. yeah Cause huh. stupid governments. Ben, don't take the kids to the store. Yes. I, I mean, Mississippi is not one of those states because I have seen it here. Because so. granted, they're going to be purchasing, you know. And drinking it right away. I mean, come the on. Beer, yeah. And, you know, the person at the counter is going to be like, oh, okay. Yeah, it is a child's beer. <laughs> you know, you can have this. I mean, we actually have a restaurant here that has that as a, uh, you can get like an ice cream float with yeah. the founder's breakfast out in vanilla. I'm just glad there yet, are uh, like politicians to. saving us from ourselves, you know, those that's, wonderful politicians. That's a, that's a different show for a different time. We're here to drink beer and we, you know, we don't touch politics. Exactly. So with Unless that, they ask for it, not without consent. <laughs> don't ask for it. Right. Uh, with that, be sure to like, subscribe and cheers that notification bell because we're not going to talk politics. Would we rate this thing collectively? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. I don't know if you said it or not. I did. Yeah, he did. I, did. I don't know. Yeah. You. I mean, was I here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, are you ever really here? I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, that's that's another station philo uh, philosophy channel. All right, for uh, Andy in the attic, <laughs> and Jay, I have been. <laughs> Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. <laughs>